Ashoka. Ashoka was headquartered in Magadh in Bihar. His kingdom stretched from Pakistan and Afghanistan in the west to Assam and Bangladesh in the east and as far as Kerala and Andhra Pradesh in the south. Within eight years of ascending the throne, Ashoka expanded his empire to regions in Iran and Persia. His quest to expand his empire, however, would change after the bloody battle of Kalinga. In his younger days, Ashoka is said to have had a massive temper and was considered to be a very cruel person. He was nicknamed Chand Ashoka, which meant Ashoka the Fierce. Kalinga was a state in the fertile land between Godavari and Mahanadi rivers. Ashoka invaded this kingdom after they refused to bow down to him. It is said that a hundred thousand soldiers of the Kalinga army died in this war, and Ashoka too lost around 10,000 of his men. After the battle, Ashoka was very moved by the devastation he had caused. He saw burnt houses and scattered corpses all around, and the wails of the mourners pierced his ears. Ashoka adopted Buddhism soon after, embracing its message of peace. He made it the state religion and propagated its message within the boundaries of his kingdom as well as other parts of the world. He built thousands of stupas and viharas that stand until today. During his reign, Ashoka built many universities, water transit and irrigation systems to promote trade and agriculture. He constructed hospitals and renovated major roads throughout his kingdom and treated his subjects equally regardless of their politics, culture or class. All our knowledge of Ashoka's rule is from inscriptions he had carved on pillars and rocks throughout his kingdom. They all speak of compassionate living and spreading peace and love. After 40 years on the throne, Ashoka breathed his last at the ripe age of 72. He left behind a legacy of an able ruler and lawmaker, a hero, a monk and a noble preacher of dharma. Ashoka was the last of the great kings of the Mauryan dynasty that eventually fell apart 50 years later.